what a scarcity is happening everywhere in the world and it is not only for developing or underdeveloped world it is a global phenomena my name is liji philip i am a professor at iit madras india has a major problem with respect to water ours is a consumer society so we have to generate more and more goods so when in the industrial activities are increasing naturally the water consumption will be increasing and another thing is lot of water resources are getting polluted because the waste generated is not getting treated properly so the water resources are getting polluted once it is polluted we will not be able to use it my goal is to work in the field of water and wastewater management and make a sustainable system with respect to water by employing recycling and reuse what the special place we are at is uh, called pali uh, where the major industry is textile 20% of the wastewater is coming from uh, dyeing and textile related products my name is bharat dharamwani and i look after torres water business in south asia region which comprises of countries like india pakistan bangladesh nepal and maldives If you go back in time roughly around 100 to 200 years all the textiles were manufactured in England and USA by their companies but they found out that the, this industry is extremely polluting and they shifted all the work to countries like Mexico Bangladesh Pakistan and India the reason being that they didn't want to pollute their rivers and uh, their lakes so the this job was given to all the third world countries but now these third world countries have their own environmental laws and regulations which are becoming strict every day and this is where we have a problem and this is where tore has a solution as well tore provides uh, ultra filtration mbr and ro membranes which are uh, very often used uh, for treatment of uh, effluent and if these are used correctly and the plant is designed correctly then we will not have any environmental impact Aldi Water is an OEM which is based in Ahmedabad. The company was started by Mr. Alok Patel and Mr. Deepak Parekh uh, approximately around 7 years back and from the day of their inception we have been working very closely with them. I'm Deepak Parekh. I'm a director of Aldi Water. We are doing a total solution for the water, uh, WDP, ETP recycling and zero discharge. We have designed and executed the system with the support of the Tore Tore has supported us a lot during the designing system, and uh, uh, during execution also Tore team has supported us a lot. We have a get well MLD installation right now here for the ETP recycling system. The total plan we have jointly work with Detox and well MLD you have followed by RO system supplied by us up to repass RO and up to 90% recovery we are giving to the total systems. So we are feeding the total well MLD water. We are taking the 90% recovery and the product water less than 500 TDS of water we are giving back for the reuse for the total industries. San Diego is an exceptional place to live. Lots of people want to move here and want to live here. Part of the reason that San Diego is such a nice place to live is how little it rains here. Ironically enough, that means we need to find different sources, different ways of obtaining safe drinking water for everyone that wants to be here. As population grows, which it historically does year after year, we have to find ways of meeting that higher water demand without any additional precipitation. and the city of San Diego has been especially innovative in how they've reacted to those water needs I'm Sean Carter and I'm the sales director for Torre Membrane USA Water reuse is taking water that we've used once before and instead of discharging it 
where it eventually goes to the ocean. It's taking that and reusing it again. Multi-barrier treatment is extremely important because that's what provides the redundancy. It's a multi-step process and through all of those steps, we make sure that we meet the requirement based on that region. It's a certain amount of log removal credits for bacteria and for virus. You must meet a certain treatment level to be granted that overall removal. So during ultrafiltration, we're getting four log removal of bacteria in that step. So that gives us four of those credits that's used towards the total number of credits. And it's when we add all of those credits together that we get the total number of credits required from a regulatory purpose to be allowed to reuse that water. What I would say the biggest difference between when I started and now is how we're starting to move from indirect potable reuse more towards direct potable reuse. So IPR is indirect potable reuse and DPR we would call direct potable reuse. Both of them use the same processes, wastewater treatment, UF, RO, advanced oxidation process. But with IPR, there's an environmental barrier. DPR is distinctly different and we're cutting out that environmental barrier. You're going from a, from a wastewater treatment plant and that plant connects directly to a new freshwater treatment plant. So instead of taking that water that is purified and using an environmental barrier because we're not so sure about the technology, we're, we've gained enough confidence in the technology to know that we can save energy by not treating that water too many times. And we know that this is the wave of the future. San Diego Pure Water Project is especially exciting. It's moving closer to direct potable reuse than we've ever gotten to before. My name is Juan Guerrero. I'm the director of the City of San Diego's Public Utilities Department. Um, I oversee the city's water and wastewater infrastructure. Pure Water San Diego is the largest and most complex or infrastructure project ever undertaken by the City of San Diego. It's going to fundamentally change the way San Diegans get their water. We obviously had a phase where we're moving towards pure water, and then it got derailed by public perception challenges. The game changer was really the demonstration facility and doing tours and doing a lot of tours. To look at the facility, to look at the technology, to learn about the technology and to see the final product and to take a sample of it and drink it. Some people start the tour very skeptical, but they're there because you know they know it's important. They kind of get a sense that it's coming and they want to become more comfortable with it and more knowledgeable about it. And by the time they come out of the tour and they see the ozone BAC and the ultrafiltration membranes and what it means and what it does and how it works, and then the reverse osmosis membranes. And once people see that and hear that, it starts to really resonate. It's currently projected to provide roughly half of San Diego's water supply by 2035. And that's by purifying recycled water. There are times when I've been at reuse plants and we fire the system up for the very first time and client gets some of the water and they, they bring it and they get it in a cup and they bring it and they say, well, will you drink it? Absolutely. And you drink it and they say, wow, you, you drank it. It's like, of course, <laughs> this isn't belief that we're engaged in. This isn't faith. This is reality. This is science. We know exactly what we are able to do when we execute that reality, it's extremely satisfying. Kurosawa Tatsuki desu. Yokohama Shiakusho no shokuin o shiteorimasu. Kono Minato Machi Yokohama, ma umare sodatta machi de barun desu kedomo, Minato Machi tekoto de mizu toyu imeji ga arimasu. Konna ni mo tsubarashi mizu shori o okonatte Yokohama no imeji daru umi ni kire na mizu o naga shite toyu desu ne shokuba de hataraite mitai to moimashite ま、
地中部水再生センターでは各家庭なんかから出ました下水処理を行い再生水として処理した水を送水を行っています砂ろ過処理を行いますさらにその後の水をおどん処理設備という設備に送りましておどん処理を行いますでただしですね、チューブ水再生センターに入ってくる、まあ、処理水なんですけども、塩分濃度がですね、他のセンターに比べまして、少し高い傾向にあります。そのため、塩分濃度が高くなった際は、おどん処理では処理ができないため、UF 膜や RO 膜を使用しまして、えー、処理を行っております。水資源というのは限られたものだと思います。で日本なんかですと、山から水が取れると思うんですけども、まあ、世界によってはそういった水資源がないところもあると思います。日本じゃ恵まれているかといってその水資源をただあるものをたくさん使うのではなくてやはり今使ったもの、まあ、我々が使用したものをさらに再利用することによって、まあ、次の世代にこの水資源というものを残していけると思っております。愛媛工場は水処理、あと炭素繊維、まあ、繊維含めて生産している工場で、まあ、世界のマザー工場として生産をしています。まあ、メンブレンも同じように世界のマザー工場としてアロマク、あと UF、MBR のマクを生産しています。私の名前は大橋拓也です。で、今メンブレン生産部で調査改善の仕事をしています。製造側の責任としては品質不良があるものを世の中に出さないということで、まあ、東レのアロマクは出荷するものは全数検査をして、まあ、品質が一本一本に対して満足しているということを確認してからお客様に届けるということで、まあ、生産を行っています私の名前は横山夏子です私の仕事は水処理製品の品質保証をする仕事になります。品質保証の役割としては、例えば製品の出荷検査であったりとか、原材料の受け入れ検査などをして、不合格のものをお客様に出さないというところが、まあ一番大きな役割なのかなと思います。製品の出荷検査は、例えば RO 製品ですと NACL の除去率というものがありまして、糖化水とか、あの、原水、濃縮水の、あの、塩濃度、NACL 濃度を測定して、NACL の除去率を計算するんですけど、もう計算も自動的にされまして、合否判定まで自動的にされるシステムになっていますので、まあ、人が介在しなくて済むようなあのシステムになっています。水処理製品の水質検査についてですけれども不合格になることもありましてで不合格になったらもう自動的にもう次の工程に進めないような管理になっていますこの RO エレメントには IC タグというのがついているので読むともう不合格のものはもう次の工程には進めないというようなシステムになっています。愛媛からもそうですし、まあ、海外拠点からも世の中に世界中に RO のエレメントを出荷してますのでもちろん海外でトラブルが起きた場合はマザー工場から、まあ、愛媛工場からも支援すると、まあ、そういった意味でマザー工場としての役割っていうのはあの大きなものがあるなと感じてます。東レの RO 膜の生産拠点は愛媛工場だけではなくて、まあ、韓国中国、まあ、サウジアラビアアメリカと生産拠点を持ってますので、まあ、よりまあ高品質で安いものを世の中に提供できるように。これからも海外発展と協力して業務を進めていきたいと考えています世界で水不足が問題となっていてそういった中で当社の製品を世の中に出していくことで水不足に直面している世界中の人々の命が助かるというところがありますのでそこは誇りを持って仕事をしています My name is Satoshi Shimoyama. I'm a corporate vice president of the Tore Water Treatment and Environmental Division. We have a, a solution、uh, with a membrane technology, and we have a whole variety of a membrane,、uh, from starting from MBR, UF, MF, and RO. And、uh, on top of that,、uh, we have a technology and solution to integrate、uh, this membrane. So that、uh, we can resolve our water problem issues、uh, for every situation. Our mission、uh, can be only fulfilled、uh, when、uh, we have a good technology and a good service plus the credibility. 
So it is very important、uh, to have a good you know, quality assurance, especially for wastewater. Since you, know, you need to convert wastewater、uh, to a, like, a drinkable water. So、uh, we need to assure that、uh, you know, people are safe enough. And then、uh, quality assurance is the key to have such kind of credibility. So quality assurance is of our top priority. We believe that you know, wastewater reuse. Technology will be the key factor、uh, to resolve this problem. And then,、uh, with this membrane technology and the integrated you know, solution technology,、uh, we believe、uh, we can solve as a like, leading company of a、like, water membrane technology. For India, there is no other go than recycling and reusing the water. Reduce, recycle, reuse, that is the three R. If you want to make the planet sustainable and if you want to achieve the sustainability goals of UN, we have to practice three R. And we are responsible for the next generation. We cannot eat up everything and leave them without anything. So we have to preserve the resources for them. I am proud that I'm leaving a better earth for my son. And for his kids, maybe one day.